Good morning, guys. We're off to Waiheke Island. Vineyards, apparently. Never been, never been there. A lot of tourists here. Heaps of tourists here. <sighs> Waiheke Island. It's like Stewart Island except nicer. I'll be your host for this loop and our driver is Glenn. He's going to be driving us around the beautiful Waiheke Island. As the driver said, apparently here you can get a dozen oysters for 20 bucks. Which is actually a pretty good deal, honestly. Oysters are expensive in New Zealand. cheap before. Why here here island oysters? Ooh. Go for late most of them. Right, we're gonna discover the Why here island market. didn't know they had uh, parking wardens on Waiheke Island. <laughs> it's car, car parked on yellow lines with a ticket on it. $60 fine. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is the last thing I was expecting to see, honestly, at Waiheke Island. Parking wardens and parking tickets. <laughs> Hello 
Lars Waiheke. Let's have a look. Bye. Honestly, the Dallows, there's actually not much here. It's a distillery as well as a winery. And they really have more like spirits and liqueurs rather than wines. I guess you could call that a secret of Waiheke Island because you think it's wineries. This is a distillery. Peanut butter vodka, 12% alcohol from Dallow's Winery here on Waiheke Island. It's pretty much what you'd expect. If you took vodka and you put peanut butter in it, You know, I still don't really know what to make of Waiheke Island. It's it's nice, but it just seems it's very touristy. Very touristy. It's like everything's laid out for you, everything's all well manicured. There's nothing like raw and natural and untamed about it. It's just it just it almost seems fake. I mean it's nice, but uh, it's just it, it just seems touristy, I suppose. No grist. 2018 Marlboro. Very It's about over now. Hoko and I were just having a nice little discussion about what are you going to tell the Chinese tourists about what's the best thing about Waiheke Island? Because she, she's a tour guide, right? She organises the tours for the Chinese tourists. And she didn't really say too much about what she'd recommend, but she did say this. She'd say that she'd withhold the information about the um, oysters if they were badly behaved. So take note of that, all you tourists. You don't behave well on tours. You miss out. The tour guide will punish you. You become punished. 